It's a long-standing tradition in American politics. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Losing presidential candidates have conceded to their opponents for decades. But offering our next president our goodwill and earnest effort to find ways to come together. But political analysts say President Donald Trump isn't expected to concede at all. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. While there's no law that says he has to concede, Trump will be the first presidential candidate in recent history to ignore the tradition. It'd be very unusual, in, you know, certainly in the modern era, we have not had a case where a defeated candidate hasn't recognized that the candidate lost the election. Schickler adds if Trump does not concede in the coming weeks, his party will have to decide the next moves. I think the more important question becomes what do other Republicans do? In Los Angeles, Danielle Radin reporting for Newsnet.